So at Project Help, we have several roles that uh, are uh, that carry out empathy-based empathy work. We have volunteers, advocates, counselors, and leaders. So uh, we have a bunch of volunteers that answer our 24-hour crisis helpline. And so every week a schedule gets sent out and um, everybody has a time slot and it's 24-7. So, and the helpline really everyone everyone shares that responsibility, but the volunteers have helped us immensely because it sort of takes that load off of uh, the advocates, counselors, and leaders so that they can focus more on their one-on-one -on -one sessions with clients and, you know, the specific work that, that they do. But everyone answers the helpline, but the volunteers are especially charged with this uh, responsibility and they're answering calls, you know, at odd hours of the night and into the morning and it's all kinds of situations and sometimes a forensic exam is required sometimes a grief response is required and so we take immediate action so it's we're all part of a 24-hour response team so our advocates work with clients who have immediate resource needs and maybe they're not ready to start therapy yet but Sometimes they're immigrants or they're survivors of sexual assault that happened in the past, or maybe they just had a forensic exam done at Project Help and they need some support. And so advocates are there to provide support, resources, legal resources, um, and it can be anywhere from housing, food, clothing, um, worship places, you know, anything that the client needs that they might not know that they have access to and then obviously we have our counselors and therapists who provide one-on-one -on -one and um, individual counseling to survivors of sexual assault survivors of childhood sexual abuse victims of crimes uh, people who have suffered a sudden loss and um, so most of our clients as therapists um, all have pretty heavy traumas and project help therapy services are free uh, if, if they meet, you know, if they're, um, if the reason that they're seeking therapy meets our mission. And our leadership roles, um, our leaders, they oversee everything that I just mentioned and they also actively participate. They're not they don't remove themselves. Even our CEO responds to forensic exam calls. And um, I mean, they, they have a lot on their plate. They supervise interns, they, they do outreach events, they, they uh, maintain networking with local authorities, police, medical examiner's office. Um, the state attorney's office and you know there's um, a lot of um, very high level networking going on that's all surrounding the crisis work that we do so some of the things that I just mentioned the impact of client trauma exposure at project help exposure when providing 24-hour response to uh, crisis and sexual assault and sudden loss through our 24-hour helpline exposure to client trauma when providing empathy-based response to week-long manager on duty shifts in which a crisis worker is required to schedule time-sensitive sexual assault forensic exams and time-sensitive sudden death notifications. So in addition to answering the call and all the shifts that we have, there's every week it's a different manager on duty and um, the advocates, counselors, and leaders all take turns weekly being the manager on duty, being the person that is called at any time of the day or night to schedule a forensic exam or respond to a sudden death. Also exposure, um, especially with the advocates in providing court advocacy, uh, accompaniment, accompanying a client in court, and um, also 
with the counselors, just providing individual and support group counseling, a lot of trauma, a lot of trauma narratives and uh, just working with clients every week, one on one and just um, helping them cope with a lot of deep wounds. So that that can take an emotional toll for sure. Other risk factors that can contribute to the compassion fatigue um, is having a heavy caseload, having our own personal trauma histories, um, having a lack of social support, feeling isolated, not knowing how to recognize our own needs and putting others' needs before our own, and an inability to set personal and professional boundaries.